So in this video, I'm going to go over how can I revise my essay using ChatGPT. So basically, when we use ChatGPT, we can use ChatGPT for idea generation. In other words, when you get stuck on an essay topic and you use ChatGPT for brainstorming, and you can use ChatGPT for revision, so idea generation and revision. However, you cannot use ChatGPT to have you write your essay for you because that's plagiarism. So let's um, use ChatGPT ethically. So in today's video, I'm going to go over how you can use ChatGPT to revise your essay. So let's say that your essay has a lot of grammar mistakes or that your teacher wants you to write your essay, your chat, your, your, you know, wants your essay to be in third person case. So basically here, let's first go over the what a ChatGPT interface looks like. This area is called the prompt, and that's where you tell ChatGPT what to do. So here, I'm going to write, okay, revise my essay so that there are no grammar errors. Revise my essay so, so that it has third person case. And so then I cut and paste my essay into the prompt, which I just did, in case you didn't see, see me doing it. So what I did was I typed in what I wanted to do, and then I sent it to ChatGPT. And so now ChatGPT, okay, and then I sent it to ChatGPT, and now I can, um, And so now ChatGPT has instantly taken out third person case and corrected all my grammar errors all at once. And so here you have your corrected, uh, there's no, there are no you, your, okay? So if you look at the original, would you keep your dying loved one alive longer if it meant subpar quality of life? Or would you let them go sooner with less pain and more quality time with their family and yourself. And so basically I told um, ChatGPT to get rid of all of the you and the yours, to get rid of all the first and second person case. I think she also uses it you and your somewhere down here. Morphine relieves tachnea and can help you relax, but its main purpose is to relieve pain and discomfort. In hospice care, the person has a terminal illness the goal is to keep that person as comfortable and calm as possible. These are the last moments they have with their families. And so here, um, she has you and your. And then now, okay, when you compare it, would you keep your dying loved one alive longer? Now let's compare how uh, ChatGPT got rid of third person case. Would one choose to prolong the life of a dying loved one if it meant compromising their quality of life? Or would the pro preference be to allow them to pass away sooner, experiencing less pain and having more quality time with their family and themselves? And so you, all the you and yours have been taken out and you, yourself was, has been replaced by themselves. So you notice how it said, well, would you like, to, would you let them go sooner with less pain with their family and yourself. And that got, got um, replaced with, uh, with their family and themselves. So now this entire um, you know, essay is now done in third person case and it's got correct grammar and it's got correct, you could also say uh, revise this essay with um, sentence, variety. All right, then you would want to cut and paste the corrected essay that you already did. Okay, so let's say you want more sentence variety. Okay, then you would cut and paste this. And then here you cut and paste your essay because you told ChatGPT you want sentence variety. So then you press send message. And now it's going to try to write in sentence variety. Okay, so that sentence variety means that you don't just write in simple sentences, simple sentence, simple sentence, simple sentence. 
Simple sentence meaning uh, subject, verb, object, subject, verb, object, subject, verb, object. And so now you're going to write in um, sentence variety, meaning you use some simple sentences, some compound sentences, some compound complex sentences, and some complex sentences. You can even tell it to do that. You can say, write sentence variety, write some sentences in simple sentences, write some sentences. So let's see what happens if I did that. So revised essay, revised essay with sentence variety, variety, variety. Use some simple sentences, some compound sentences, some compound complex sentences. And then you can cut and paste this uh, once again, because you're regenerating it. And so you can do drafts. Now this would be the, the new version of drafts. So compound complex sentences. So I'm making it better and better. And then I do it again. And here it's going to give you, uh, in this way you're not going to have um, what I call chat GPT-ish sounding essays. All right, so now you have a better sounding essay and that it doesn't sound so repetitive. Or, or you would say, don't use so many you know, synonyms. So whatever it is, you put it in into this and then you're revising it and each draft of the essay looks better than the, the, the one before. Now remember, at the very beginning, when I first started this, this whole exercise, at the very beginning, you remember that my very first prompt was simply revise the essay in third person case. I'd already written the essay, okay? I'd already wrote the essay uh, previously. So all I was doing was telling ChatGPT to put it in third person case, then I cut and paste the essay I already wrote myself, okay? Be why? Because when you do a research paper, ChatGPT is not a reliable source. You still have to do your own research. You still have to do go to your Google Scholar or go to your library and come up with your own sources, your own in-text citations, and therefore you still got to write the paper because sometimes ChatGPT comes up with the wrong facts, okay? That's just the truth of it. And um, so that's why you always write the paper yourself to make sure that the sources that you use actually exist because ChatGPT has been known to hallucinate and make it all up. So therefore, it's, that's why we only use ChatGPT to come up with topics and to help us smooth, make it more polished. In other words, you want more sentence variety or you want to take out your third person case. You want to revise your essay for better, better grammar or something. That's how we use ChatGPT. We use ChatGPT as if it was some kind of Google search engine plus uh, grammar detection Grammarly. So if you think of it that way, that's, that's the best way right now to use ChatGPT 3.5. We don't trust ChatGPT to come up with APA sources for you. It's, you still got to do that the, the old fashioned way, at least for now. And probably in the future, you know, maybe the ChatGPT will get much more precise and uh, this will change as the technology changes. So if, so if you like this video, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And if you have any questions, if you have any questions, feel free to email me anytime.